Tonight only on WNDU. It's been nearly five years since the shocking murders of Abby Williams and Libby German in rural Indiana. But how can this case remain unsolved after all this time? Carly Luke is breaking down everything we know about this years long search for their killer. It was an unseasonably warm day when two girls decided to go for a walk at a park near Delphi. Abby Williams and Libby German were best friends, known for doing everything together. Sadly, that includes when they went missing on February 13th of 2017. After this photo was taken of Abby walking across the Monin High Bridge, they were never heard from again. It was one day later on Valentine's Day when hearts were broken in their community. As police announced a grim discovery, the girls were found murdered. And I think everybody had a lot of hope that we'd find the girls alive. When the bodies were recovered, it turned into to sorrow, uh, sadness. Um, when it was announced that it was a double homicide, it turned into frustration and anger. Um, and since that point, it's just been surreal. On February 15th, 2017, police released a photo. A man walking across the bridge where Abby and Libby had been the day of their deaths. Something police have because 14-year-old Libby snapped a picture. By the end of that week, the man in the photo was named the prime suspect in the murders. As poor as this picture is, somebody knows. And if you're watching, we'll find you. Eight days after the shocking news of their deaths came not just the face, but the voice of the suspect. The audio quality is not superb, but there's enough there that somebody could recognize this person's voice. We are actively looking for this person. We believe this person is our suspect, and we would like any information, regardless of how small or minute you might believe that information to be, it might be the one piece of a very large puzzle it helps us get this person in custody. Nearly three months after the girls were killed, a celebration of life was held for them at Delphi High School. I would never wish this on anybody. Um, and, and for someone to be so callous and cold to do this to a 13 and a 14 year old girl is just unbelievable. And as we as a community, as a school, um, grieve for it. By mid-July, five months after their murders, police released something new, a sketch of the suspect that they hoped somebody would recognize. And while it seemed like progress was being made, there was still no one behind bars on the one-year anniversary of Abby and Libby's disappearance. I come from the, the thought or theory that eventually right wins over wrong, no matter how long it takes. And that that is our resolution along with you know, all other investigators involved is to get justice for Abby and Libby. And so we will get justice for these girls. Based on what they knew so far, police were able to share more about the suspect. The lay of the land, so to say, where this occurred, it would almost have to be someone that either A, is originally from this area and knew how things were laid out, or it's someone that came to our area and, if you will, studied it. You know, for it to be an outsider, yes, that's possible, but they sure had to do a lot of work in putting, putting something into this. Fast forward to February 13th, 2019. We want people to know this is not a cold case. This case is not closed. We are not done with this investigation. There are countless people working on this every day. Two years since Abby and Libby were killed, the calls for justice still strong. I'm confident we're going to resolve this case. I'm confident we're going to get an arrest. And I'm confident we're going to solve it. But a big break in the case didn't come until a few months later on April of 2019. For more than two years, you never thought we would shift gears to a different investigative strategy, but we have. Now there was a new sketch of the suspect, something police said more accurately represents the person they believe killed the teens. The first sketch showed a person in his 40s to 50s, but the new sketch showed a man believed to be in his 20s to late 30s. Police say someone has to know him. Only a coward would do such a thing. We are confident that you have told someone what you have done, or at the very least, they know because of how different you are since the murders. Police also released this Snapchat video of the man from the photo in motion walking across the bridge and announced they believe him to be a local. We also believe this person is from Delphi. 
currently or has previously lived here, visits Delphi on a regular basis, or works here. But by the third year anniversary of Abby and Libby's deaths, the investigation was still ongoing, this time without any new updates. The fact is that there was two innocent girls murdered and the guy's still walking around. And we don't have any answers. Uh, there's no resolution. Um, so with that respect, no, it doesn't get any easier, you know. Uh, I mean, we live it every day. By February of 2021. We still haven't, you know, found that one solid piece of information to, uh, you know, take someone into custody at this point. Yet police maintained they were just one puzzle piece away from an arrest. It is not a cold case. I have uh, been adamant about that uh, all along. It is not a cold case. We still receive tips uh, by way of email or phone calls every day. And so new information still pours into our investigators. Those investigators moved to a new space in September of 2021 where they could continue to work on tips as the reward grows to $325,000. And just when the public thought they weren't going to learn anything new about the killer. Detectives are seeking information about the person who created the Anthony Schatz profile. Investigators would like any individual who communicated, met, or attempted to meet the Anthony Schatz profile to contact law enforcement. That request for help from Indiana State Police in December of 2021, seeking information about a fake online account that went by the name of Anthony underscore Schatz. And while they knew the man in the profile pictures was not a suspect, the profile itself seemed tied to the Delphi case, which came as new information to Abby and Libby's families. I'm kind of torn. Um, I would never want to think that social media was a connection in this. Um, but also, I do hope that there's a connection now. Um, obviously, we want justice and we want this to be over. And if that's the connection that has to be made to get justice, then that's the connection that has to be made. This man was tied to the profile. Keegan Klein was arrested on child pornography charges, but police have not named him as a person of interest or suspect in this case. State police released a statement addressing the speculation surrounding their investigation, saying they hope you will have the opportunity to see and know what they do and that they look forward to that day. Until then, police stand by these words from 2018. If you're watching this and you're responsible, today may be your day. It might be tomorrow, but I can guarantee you your day's coming. And the community continues to come together surrounding Abby and Libby's families with the hope that someone someday soon will be held accountable. If you know anything about what happened to Abby or Libby or you recognize this photo or sketch, please submit a tip to police. For 16 News Now, I'm Carly Luca.